Hey guys, it's Robert here from Repurpose and Reuse, where I take everyday found and scavenged items and repurpose them into new creations. Today I'm excited to show you how I make a brake drum charcoal forge using just these items here. Stick around and I'll show you how it's done. If you like this content, please consider subscribing to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. So let's get into it. First off, here's the brake drum. I got this for $5 off of eBay. It's from a 1959 Ford Galaxy Fairlane. It's 11 inches in diameter and used a one and three quarters brake. Nice piece of <laughs> heavy cast iron, rusty, but perfect for what we're gonna use it for. <clears throat> I've got some pipe fittings, two inch diameter, which is the diameter of the brake drum connection here. So I've got a T-pipe fitting, a two inch flange, two five inch nipple pipes, and then a two inch closed nipple. Some bolts, nuts, and washers from the hardware store. This hot pink hair dryer that I got from the thrift store for $2.99. I chose it not because it's hot pink, but because it's got a couple of different settings so I can change the blast to my forge. A potato masher from the Dollar Tree, which I'm gonna cut off and use so none of my charcoal goes through this hole. Use this as a grate. A piece of scavenged PVC pipe I got from the construction site. And I got these from the hardware store. Two clamps, rubber clamp to clamp the PVC to my hair dryer, and metal clamp to clamp a T pipe to my PVC. I also have this little stand. So I found this on the side of the road. Someone had it next to their garbage can, throwing it out. And it's a nice little side table. I think they were probably throwing it out because of this wood damage here, but very minimal. But what I plan to do is take out these wood panels and use this as the frame for my forge. It's about 12 inches across, which will be a perfect little setting to, to set my forge in and hold everything in place. So I'm gonna take the panels of the top part of the shelf off. These screws are all rusted into the frame. All the screws out.
down. So one of the nipple pipes attached to here. Then you attach your T-pipe. Then the other nipple pipe. So this is going to be where the PVC and hair dryer go. This is going to be the containment for the soot and ash that falls down from the coal. Your end cap will be your way to get that charcoal out, that soot out. And then put the closed pipe in between. PVC in here. That's going to get nice and tight. This 2x2 two two pipe clamp is rubber, so this will be good for the connection between the PVC and then, of course, you can tighten it down so that none of that air escapes. So, this is what your final forge is going to look like. Let's see how it looks in the frame. As it turns out, we had to get rid of the bottom wood panel too, so the forge would fit. It's a little bit too long to fit comfortably, so we'll have just this open, open frame here. So let's see how it does inside. Fits nicely. That's great. And then, just to tighten these down, the closed pipe. And the connection to the hair dryer. And hair dryer goes in here. Put this $2.99 sticker still on it. Nice and secure. And last one. And I'll take this off. Pretty thin metal, I could probably angle grinder, cut that right off. All right, this potato masher should be the match for my angle grinder. Instead of a slingshot. All right. Now we have our grate. Fits nicely right there. And let's see how it does when we turn it on.
So I've got three settings on this hair dryer, a low, medium, and high. All right, we finally get to test out my forge. Got some cheap charcoal. I'll give you just kind of a look from all the angles here. Everything's fitting in place nicely. Let's put some charcoal in, get it heated up. Got this little strainer from the thrift store for a couple bucks. Let's see if this helps get those coals lit. So this is on low strength. working pretty well on the low strength. I've got my anvil here. I'm working on my anvil stand now. Check out my other videos. I've got a video on how I make it out of some scrap wood I found in the woods. All right, it's been there for about 10 minutes now. Let's take a look. Still not quite orange hot. You get the idea. I'm gonna have to put some oven bricks on top, mess around with it a little bit more, but this is my newest creation. <laughs> 